you know, Oscar, this is this is a first for Alfred Montaner. This is a first, first, guys. First of all, let me go ahead and show you guys the very first 100% electric boat that I've ever filmed. How do you like it? I'm. I'm, I didn't think the technology had gotten to this point this big so fast. Yeah, yeah. We're about there now. Uh, we feel that, that finally we're at where we can really build a good electric boat that will work as any other boat that is on par, but even better for experience and, and for, you know, the, the, the torque and, and the massive performance that you get out of these boats. Uh, we're very, very happy with it. Thanks. So, so let me ask you, Oscar, where are you guys building these and where are these, where are these made? Yeah, these boats are made in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, we are right now ramping up our production to be able to build 400 boats a year. Our hope is that within a year, you know, end of 2020, we should be able to do a copy-paste of that factory and build a factory for the American market as well. And and you expect to have a, a factory here in the states? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Very likely here in Florida, actually, because you know what's not to like here. I know, and we build really good boats. Yeah, that's true. So, so can you walk us through the boat and maybe talk about what I think is going to interest me and a lot of my subscribers is the technology of the hundred percent electric and sure. how you guys get this thing moving? Happy to. So first, if we look at the boat, okay, this is a twenty-six foot boat. But as you will see later, right, it feels like a bigger boat. The bow of this boat goes straight down, which gives us a really long, wet surface, long water line of the boat. That really helps us with the lower speed, the range in lower speed. When we go five miles per hour, mm -hmm. we can go up to 100 miles. Okay. So that, that's a long time. That'll take you 20 hours. So 100 miles at 5 miles an hour. Yeah. But who wants to go 5 miles, right? If you go 25 miles, we can go almost 40 miles. Almost 40 miles. Yeah. So, so that's, you know, the, the cruising speed. Of course, if you really want to impress our buddies, we would go 40 miles, which is 40 miles per hour, which is the, the maximum speed of the boat. So, so it, this thing will top out at 40 miles an hour? Yeah. Wow. I want to see what is powering this 26 footer to get it to go 40 miles an hour on electric batteries, right? I'm assuming, right? Awesome, yeah, come up in the boat and we'll show you. All right, guys, you see this, this, this for me is, so this is called the EELX e e 8000, is that the model? The ELX 8000, yes, and 8000, of course, for eight meters, which is, you know, 26 feet. But if you stand back here, you know, it almost feels like a 30 footer. These, so these cool. benches and, and tables, all this is modular. We can have a fishing module. We can have a wakeboard hook up here in the roof. And your body's on a sofa here. Um, and you know, the torque just pulls anyone out of the water like this. And I, I already noticed a, a difference on the flooring that you guys were using. Yeah, this material is cork. And cork is a natural material. It doesn't become super hot. It really has a, a soft kind of textile feel to it, which we really like. These wide boards here, this is where we sit when, uh, when we're out playing with the boat. That is so cool. Right down here, uh, we see the, the motor up. Uh, this is the cooling system. And up here to the left, we have the, the motor. It's a 220 kilowatt motor, and that equates to about 300 horsepower. But again, and I come back to this point, a thousand foot-pounds of torque will, will just wash anyone that is not holding on straight into the So seat. the whole shot on this is insane. Oh man, I, I'm already excited. Tell me there's going to be another one out on the water. Oh, there will be. We'll see one uh, in uh, just a few minutes. Uh, they're on their way here from the ramp now. Nice. So, so what is inside here, inside this, uh, what it looks inside like Inside this stainless steel box, okay. we have the charger, the inverter, and the DC-DC converter. So all the high voltage electronics, right? Because we don't want to fiddle around with those. So this box comes out of the boat and a new one goes in if there should be a problem with anything. 
So it's a serviceable component that you don't need to be uh, electrically certified to fix. So let's talk about the service end of this because you know normally in a traditional you know gasoline engine or diesel powered boat what would be some of the questions that people will ask you regarding the service so how does that work? Well of course I mean how often do I need to do a filter uh, an oil filter change? Well never. How often do I need to switch out my timing belt on my diesel mode? Well never. Um, you know what about gas spills? What about fumes, exhausts? None, none, none. All right, so let's walk the boat and I, I don't see any batteries or anything. So you're gonna have to show me, cause you guys have everything laid out, but show me the actual boat first. So people who are interested in the actual, you know, the comforts and all that stuff. Sure. The boat, you guys can tell them about it. I mean, uh, things that I like, what is this? This is, vacuum infused super hard carbon fiber from this roof we can pull 2,000 pounds extremely lightweight and really solid so th this is you know the engineering that has gone into this boat our little boat company is about 50 people but 18 engineers wow it's a lot of technology here one of my my favorite features is this throttle here we have developed that ourselves. When we're driving the boat, typically, right, you would be standing, you would get some wake, and this is a really good place to hold on. I'm gonna start the boat now with this start button right here. Wait, 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 how are you gonna start it then? Of course. The boat's not in the water. Well, do you think we're gonna hear any, any noise? <laughs> You're gonna burn the impeller. <laughs> here we go. And uh, look down at that propeller shaft. I am literally seeing the future. So I see that you're going forward and in reverse. There's no gearbox. That's so the motor just spins effortlessly in either direction. I'm, I'm literally witnessing the future. Awesome. So tell me, okay, so. 24 inch screen. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we can see we do zero miles per hour, which I think is about accurate. Um, if I were to run out of gas, well, I didn't bring any from the start, but if I run out of juice, I have a range extender mode where I can unlock a little 5% that we store away for a rainy day, uh, so you'll get home at least. Otherwise, everything on the boat is controlled from this panel here. Okay, so, here and here's the thing, right? Um, I see multiple uses for this. I mean, I can see this used as a, as a mega yacht tender, as a tender. Um, you know, it eliminates all the issues that, hey, you know, we, we need to have uh, diesel for the tender, yeah. or we need to have gas for the tender, yeah. and that now there's new regulations depending on where you're at in the world. Now this is like, hey, listen, I just got an electric, 100% electric boat on here. I mean. That is always uh, ready to go because you charge it from the generator in the tender. Uh, oh, okay, so let's continue walking the boat and then we'll, we'll talk about the actual charging and how they hook it up and all sure. that stuff because I want them to see all that. Sure. Uh, so we have an option for a sunbed back here, okay. but, but for the show, we, we, you know, welcoming people on board, we just wanted to show how big it is and, and open. Here's a little cool little feature that I like. Up here, this is an electric eel head. And every one of these eel heads for every boat that we manufacture are artisan made and different. This one, of course, in, in uh, brass uh, has a really good feel to it. Um, I like that for, you know, uniqueness. Everyone is different. That is so different. And, and here's the console. What is the beam on something like this? Oscar, what is the beam on this? Uh, the beam is eight feet, six inches. Eight feet six inches, and I see that you have a nice little anchor locker here for your. Yeah, anchor. of course. Is there a windlass option on this? Uh, there you is. Want? Not not in this boat, but not in this special boat. But yeah, of course you can have it with uh, with a power. Uh, so windlass. is the actual boat carbon fiber or is it fiberglass? This boat is fiberglass on the outside. Okay. Carbon fiber on the inside, and of course the roof, as I mentioned before, is carbon. So you mean the, 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 the first layers are carbon fiber and then the outer layers are when you... Well, the, 
these are actually different uh, composite structures. So oh. we have the outer hull and we have the deck and they're glued together. Oh, okay, all right, I see what you're saying. Okay, great. However, I, I, I want to say we uh, have just started to build boats out of flax, natural flax material. Uh, same as you would have in a linen suit. Okay. So we, we build the entire boat out of that material and it looks like naked carbon fiber. You see the strands of, of fiber, right? Okay. But instead of black, it's really deep brown. And of course, it's biodegradable and we, we use a, uh, a green epoxy resin to, to bond it. So, so I, I am seeing a lot of green solutions and, and sustainable stuff regarding this boat. Uh, is that kind of the market that you guys are trying to, to, to cater to? Somebody that wants to make sure that, hey, listen, I don't want to have a huge carbon footprint with the you know vessel that I'm using. And is that one of the, the target audiences that you guys are capturing? It is. And, and I think that, that the environmentalism is definitely one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. And I think there are many reasons, the performance, the design, but the sustainability aspect of this, and, and these three really talks to our corporate model, right? It's about design, technology, and sustainability. So show me where the batteries are, and sure. talk to me about the battery technology, because I think that's super interesting. Right Happy there. to. It doesn't show that well, but underneath this box, or, or this hatch, okay. are two big black boxes which are the batteries they are lithium ion nmc batteries and the battery cells are made by lg these okay. are put together in an excellent battery pack by the austrian company chrysal it's a very very high-end battery uh, the most kind of power dense that we can get right now they're upgrading this battery series to even higher performance and of course we're going to put that into the boat which is going to increase our capacity from 120 kilowatt hours to 130 kilowatt hours and then we'll see a gradual increase over the years so the technology is just getting better better and better when it comes to the the battery technology and the performance of of this i mean i, I you, you see it in the in the vehicle manufacturers how in a matter of two, three years, your, your range has been, you know, two, three times more than was, you know, a couple of years ago. Yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, we, we see right now in the battery industry a 10% improvement per year, and we expect to see that up until maybe 2025. Thereabout, we expect a step change. This is where we would see 30 or 50% more capacity for the same weight and price. This is a very, very interesting development. And I think this is one of the platforms where we can really experience those improvements. So one of the things that I think is huge in this, for, for, for me, for instance, the fact that what you just said is that if you wanted to go ahead and upgrade this boat five years from now, you can literally just take off the battery system, put a new battery system, and have a whole different boat essentially because it's gonna perform completely different. That's exactly right. Wow, that is crazy. Um, all right, so let's talk about some of the things that people are going to want to ask, right? So we know there's no fuel tank. Kind of, um, what are we looking at as far as price points? When I mean, you don't have to. Be, oh, I can't even hold you to it because no, no, no. Show, but what are the price points for a 26 like this? Are you going to have other models that are not 26, maybe bigger, smaller? Absolutely. Yeah. So let me know about some of those things. This boat retails for 330 USD. Uh, and then, of course, whatever options that you want on it. But it comes with this 24-inch screen, comes with, with all the features that we've been talking about, right? Uh, by next year, we're going to release our next model, which is a little bit bigger. It's a 30-foot boat, and it has a cabin. So now we, you know, we have a head, we can sleep four, uh, there's a little kitchenette. Um, we're going to launch it uh, after, after Christmas this year. And in our plans, is to by the end of next year come out with a smaller boat a boat that we're going to price in the hundred thousand dollar range okay. uh, that really gives the option to more consumers to get an electric boat 
that's going to be a 22 foot boat with four different versions including a water sports boat and a fishing boat can you envision a dual motor electric boat uh, oh within? totally i would love that uh, these motors they're not very heavy they're about 150 pounds uh, but they are of course quite costly right so um, and also two motors doesn't do anything really other than top speed for us because we already have the torque we already have the range so you know the craze over here in South Florida has been like hey you get one engine put another one but another one we're at six right now while yeah I now. love it <laughs> it could be more but you know I can see I can see right now we're talking about one one uh, you know engine one motor on one of these electric posts and now all of a sudden there's two or three and then who knows where it'll end so um, where can they go online Oscar to find out a little bit more information on this company and the boats and how long it takes to make them sure where can they go well of course YouTube uh, always a good resource for information xshore.com just in one word xshore.com uh, and online you'll find all the information you can of course contact us with any questions you may have and we are on Instagram we're on Facebook we're on uh, all the social media so is it possible to do a sea trial while I'm out here at the show of course let's yeah. get uh, let's get going and try that out all right guys so here they're gonna expect another one we're gonna try to go ahead and get on there and sorry for the helicopter that's been buzzing us throughout the video but we've been there the whole time so well, listen, Oscar, thank you so much. Uh, I guess they'll see the, the, the other video of the other one on the water, so let's see what happens. Awesome. Thank right. you so much.